In this tutorial, we'll show you how to incorporate multiple screens within your app and also show you how to pass values back and forth between those screens. So go to the Drake App Camp website and click under part four. This is technically a part of part four of the App Camp, but we really don't need any extra files. So go ahead and click on the App Inventor homepage. From here, click on the orange create button and let's create a new project called multiple screens. Great, from this first initial screen that you get, let's uh, drag out a button. And just to reiterate, this is will be a uh, screen one button. So we'll rename that to be the screen one button. And we'll call the text, change the text to be uh, press me or something like that. Um, similarly, let's change, uh, let's, let's add a label and change that to be a screen one label. and change its text initially to be something like here I am. All right, great. The way to add a new screen is simply to press the add screen button. So let's call this one screen two. Now notice by doing so, it'll take a second for it to update, but I've got screen two available to me now. If I wanna go back to screen one, I just click this button on the left hand side here, and there I am back to screen one. In screen two, let's just add another button here. And to make sure that we distinguish that this is screen two's button, um, first let's rename it to the screen two button. And let's change its background color to be um, something distinguishable like pink. And let's change the text to be like back to screen one. Great, so that'll just at least illustrate the concepts. Now let's go to the blocks editor. So again, similarly to how we have it before in the designer window, we can change between the screen one and the screen two uh, blocks. So notice I'm in the screen one area, I've got my screen one components. And if I'm in screen two, I've got my screen two components. Great, from screen one, I want that screen one button when it's clicked to essentially launch a new screen. So that's done via the control window, the control uh, object here. I can scroll all the way down and notice I can open up another screen. So let's, in this case, open up another screen with screen name and type in screen two. So when the button is pressed, it'll open up screen two. So let's go then now to the screen two blocks when the screen two button is clicked, I want to go back to the, if the first screen. So again, under control, scroll all the way down, and you can see, you can say close screen, that would just close it and go back to this, the first screen, that would be fine. But in this case, I wanna send a value back to that screen. So I'm gonna say close screen with results. And I'm gonna pass back um, the saying like, you visited screen two. That result can be virtually anything, a color, a list, but in this case, we'll just send this piece of text. All right, back then to screen one, there is a component inside the screen one object called when screen one dot other screen closed. So when that happens, notice there's the other screen name and the results that are available as arguments. That result is what's gonna be passed back to me when that second screen closed and I'm gonna use that result to change my label. So let's set the label text to be the value of that result. Okay, so now screen two is going to actually get a value, pass it back, and I'll change the screen one's result. Okay, so that's basically the it, that's the concept. Then my experience that you can connect to your device and it will work, but it's kind of sluggish. My recommendation when you're testing and developing multiple screen apps is actually to go and build an APK file. So provide the QR code and use a QR code reader on your device to it'll download that file to your device, or you can save the APK file to your computer and email it and get to your device in that way. So go ahead and try this out and have fun using multiple screens within your app.